people do a lot of mistakes when uh, doing application for the DV lottery application. There are some mistakes which when you do, they can cost you winning. There are some of the mistakes will have no impact whatsoever for you either to be selected and to be given the visas. So let's review some of the mistakes which will not have impact, will not affect in any way for you either to win or to be given the visas. This mistake number one is the mistake in rearranging your name or mistake in spelling of your name. So you start with the last name, first name, and the middle name. Assume by mistake you put last as middle, middle as last, whatever it is, or you put incorrect spelling. That will not affect you from winning the DV lottery. And once you win, you put a mistake, you can go and correct the spelling of your name in the DSC 260, in the visa form, and you will come with the legal of Davity without any problem, you will be okay. The mistake in past, I mean, in date of birth, that is another mistake which will not have impact whatsoever. Remember how in the United States the dates are arranged. We start with the month, day, year. Some people make a mistake. Instead of month, they put it with a day, month, year. So that mistake is affecting them. So if that mistake happened, it happened one time for me, I was filling someone's form and the person won. So you have to go, when you are going to fill the DSC 260, in order to start with it, to sign in, you have to use the wrong date of birth which you used. But once you are inside there, put the correct date of birth. You'll be good without any particular problem. Another mistake, the level of education. If, let's say, you are currently a university student and you put in high school, it has no problem at all. If you put a master's and you are not having master's, it will not affect you at any way. Once you win the visa form, you will put the correct educational level. That has no impact in any way for you to be denied the visa. Uh, the mistake like place of birth. Sometimes people on the birth certificate and the passport are different. You might be born, let's say, in Kibera. But Kibera slum is within Nairobi so the birth certificate can be written in Kibera but the passport can be written you are born in Nairobi so whether those type of mistakes will not have any impact but on the when you are going to fill the visa form you will use the passport as the origin the correct birth place so those are the things you need to know that there are certain things they are not a big deal there are certain things are big deal the things which when you make the mistake will completely destroy you. Like if you put the incorrect, the wrong place, the country of birth, the wrong country of eligibility, that will affect you. If you lie about marital status, the number of children will affect you to be given the visa. So, but this video is just to make sure that you understand uh, these are the small mistakes people do a lot of them but those mistakes will not impact you in a way into selection or winning the DV lottery at all or even given to be given the visa they will not be having any problem so don't worry with those smaller mistakes